From the bedpost to the fence post, what's yours remains yours. I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and today we're unboxing one of the hottest guns of the year, the Henry Repeating Arms Homesteader. That's the tagline for this new rifle in an entirely new category from Henry Repeating Arms. The lever action powerhouse takes a major turn in 2023, shifting away from the lever guns and into the entirely new semi-automatic pistol caliber carbine platform 9mm rifle. We're ready for our first few shots with Henry's Homesteader. It's windy, it's cold, it's snowy out here, but we just simply have to put a few rounds through it. There's the Henry proprietary magazine with a few rounds loaded up. Let our bolt go, tang safety. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that, no muzzle rise, no recoil. The bolt's locked open. We could switch that handle over if we wanted left hand operation. I was kind of wondering about this, but tell you what, that was pretty sweet. Let's do a couple more. What exactly is the Henry Homesteader? You'll see here, it's a carbine length, semi-automatic blowback action repeater in nine millimeter. Why nine millimeter? Henry, we talked to the Henry folks at the SHOT Show and they said they're getting a lot of demand from customers that are wanting to use up their nine millimeter pistol ammo in probably a lever gun, but now they're getting a semi-auto. And to clarify this, this is what a lot of people have been asking. The Homesteader is not just one single model. You actually have a choice of three different model variations. The first one is taking Henry's proprietary magazines. We've got a five round and a 10 round drop box magazine. That's number one. No matter which of the three models you buy, you still get Henry's two proprietary magazines. But if you have a Glock pistol, you order yourself the Glock variant. You get the Henry mags and you get this Magwell adapter. You swap that out here. We'll show you how to do that shortly. And you can use your Glock 9mm mags. If you have SIG or Smith & Wesson M&P 9 mags, you can buy the third model, which has the Magwell adapter for those two uh, magazine types. So same process again, you swap out that Magwell adapter and instead of accepting Glocks like this one, it accepts the SIG and the Smith & Wesson mags. But remember, you're always getting, with each of those models, Henry's five and 10 round proprietary magazines. Here's Henry's 10 round proprietary magazine for the Homesteader. And we've got a couple rounds of nine millimeter. No, it's not lipstick. That's Federal Syntec, the range coded. So loading up is quite simple. It's like any other nine millimeter pistol magazine. A speed loader would help. I don't have the strongest hands in the world. We'll just put a couple of rounds in there. But you can see, you can get 10 rounds in there, five rounds in their smaller mag, or you get yourself one of the Glock Smith & Wesson or SIG adapters and put in a 30, 50, or even a 100 round drum and run with some ammo capacity. There's lots of options. But don't fret, if you've bought one model of Henry and you're thinking, boy, I wish I had got the model that would accept Glock mags, or I wish I bought the model that accepted the SIG mags, don't worry about it. You can't get them quite yet, but Henry will be adding these Magwell adapters to their Henry Pride store. So you'll be able to buy them somewhere in the $30 to $40 range is what we expect. I can't say for sure. But again, it'll be fairly affordable. You can grab them and add them. If you bought the base model that just has the Henry mags, no problem. When these come available, grab yourself an adapter and you can have a whole bag full of other mags loaded up for nine millimeter. You'll notice when I shoot here, there's no recoil, there's no muzzle rise. This is really a fun gun to shoot and very, very controllable. and also very fast cycling. One of the big draws to Henry's lever action rifles is that the platform by its very nature is fairly ambidextrous friendly. The lever action and the controls can be run really with either hand. Well, you wouldn't expect that on a semi-auto, but that's exactly what we get here with the Homesteader. You're looking at the right side and you think, well, that's a regular right side action, but check this out. You grab the charging handle, simply pull it out, Switch around, you'll see the bolt exposed there on the left side. We just take that charging handle, insert that right back in, and now it's much more friendly for a left-hander to run. Of course, your ejection port is still on the right side, but you'll see here, 
At the base, we have ambidextrous bolt hold opens, so it's easy. There's one on either side, and they run in union, so it's no problem for a left-hander to run that. I run that back right there. My bolt holds open, pull it back, and let it go. It's a very simple gun to operate, whether right-handed or left-handed, so that's nicely thought out there by Henry. And as well, the ambidextrous magazine relief release is right in the center, easy for either hand to operate, and a tang safety. Again, easy for either right or left-handers. A lot of people think, wow, a semi-auto from Henry, this is brand new. But actually, those longtime fans of Henry will realize that this is not their first semi-auto. In fact, that title falls to their AR-7 Rimfire 22 long rifle platform. You remember, that's the small Air Force-style version that breaks down and packs into its own buttstock. The Homesteader is, however, their first centerfire repeating semi-automatic carbine. So it's not their first technically semi-automatic rifle, but it is the first in a lot of ways. The first centerfire, check. First with interchangeable magazine systems, check. First swappable ambidextrous bolt handle, check. First 9mm, check that one. Accepts Glock, Sig, and Smith & Wesson magazines, check, check, and check. This is quite a new and interesting platform that's catching a lot of attention. Whether or not you're even into pistol caliber carbines or looking for a 9mm from Henry, you have to at least admit that this is an interesting addition to the firearms market. Henry's tagline with the bed post and the fence post is cute, but really what is the practical purpose of the homesteader? It's a compact gun for one, so it's something that can be used in multiple platforms. It's easy to carry in your truck, in your UTV or side-by-side. -side. It's easy to have around the ranch. It could make a decent bedside gun. When you look at it, you see we have the ability here that receivers drilled and tapped, so you can add an optics rail. You could put a red dot on it. You could put a traditional rifle scope on it. You do have excess ghost ring sights that come standard. You've got that standing rear front blade. It's a quick gun, so I can throw that up, and I see that ghost ring sight comes right into view. It gives you a little wider aperture. If you want something with a little more precision, you can look to Skinner sights. Andy and the team over at Skinner already have multiple options that look really sharp on the Henry, so that's another option if you want to stick with the irons. Of course, a red dot or something, if you're keeping it by the bed, is another choice. What Henry's basically saying is you're getting a small gun, a fast repeater, a fast shooter in that gas-driven blowback action that is ideal for home, property, and livestock protection. The gun also makes sense for those who maybe have an abundance of 9mm ammo saved up. You may say, what's an abundance of ammo? But let's face it, some of us, more than others, stock up on ammunition for calibers that we already have. So you got a 9mm pistol, you probably have some of that ammo around. And let me tell you what, it's easy to burn through some boxes of ammo when you have a PC carbine like the 9mm in a Henry Homesteader. The gun also makes sense for those fans of pistol caliber carbines. There are PCC competitions out there. Folks dig these short guns, they're light recoiling, they're fast shooting, and they're a little bit more inexpensive to shoot than some of the other platforms. Maybe somebody just wants a low recoil plinker. When you put a, a light shooter like a 9mm in a fairly heavy steel and American walnut gun like the Homesteader, there's really no recoil to worry about at all. We talked a bit about those different model types with the different magazine wells. That's what differentiates the three different Henry models of Homesteader. But we also have to look at the price, and it really comes down to a wash in the end. Henry is cataloging three different models. The base one, which includes the two Henry proprietary magazines, retails for $928. The other two, with the Glock Magwell adapter and the Sig Smith & Wesson adapter, retail for $959. And that price difference is just paying for the Magwell adapter that you get. We've measured the trigger pull here on the Henry Homesteader, and we just want to take a look. We've verified we have a clear chamber. Pull back and drop that bolt. Our safety is in the fired position. And now we're just going to show the trigger pull. And I will say we've measured it on a Lyman pull gauge. We're breaking about four pounds, but there is some noticeable creep. You've got a little bit of take up with a little bit of grit early in the pull, but then it breaks cleanly after that. So right about four pounds, we're breaking some even slightly under four, so not bad that way. But there is a little creep. So what did we see when we pull this gun out of the box? Let's look. 
right at the stern here. We're looking stem to stern. We get a rubber butt pad, same as on a lot of the Henry lever actions. We see the old school style of wood. And like Henry, made in America or not made at all, this is, of course, an American walnut stock. It's not just any checkering that we see on the stock either. Henry says this is a leather look and feel. That's what they were going for. And it really is unique. It's not standard checkering and it's not stippling. You get a really unique pattern that does look a little bit like leather work. It has a smooth feel. I like it. It still gives you grip, but it's something unique and different. We see sling studs. That's expected. We have a, the tang safety, which is nice. We look at the top of the receiver. We see that's drilled and tapped for easy optics and accessory mounting. We've got the ambidextrous bolt hold open. We've got the ambidextrous magazine release, as well as that charging handle that switches side to side. We've got American steel here, a 16.37 inch round steel barrel that culminates with a threaded muzzle. So it's easy to add a suppressor or muzzle brake, whatever kind of device you might want to add. We do have that knurled thread protector that comes standard. We've got a really flat base forend here. It'll sit well on a bag, but it also fills the hand quite well. So it's just a real unique looking gun that has roots certainly in other firearm designs too. And a couple of the most popular, especially in the American market, are Ruger's PC carbine, that repeater in 9mm, and of course at the affordable price point, the high point carbines in 380, 9mm, 40, 45, 10mm, you get a lot of bang for your buck there. Of course we had to jump outside and take a few shots just to run some rounds through. You can't grab a brand new gun and not put a few rounds through it. And we'll see that it functioned well with the full metal jackets and the hollow points that we tried. But the real proof that we want to wait until we have a nicer weather day so we can spend some time on the range and run through all different weights and types of ammo. I want to dare this thing to fail. We want to test the accuracy and we really want to dig into the, the internal workings of the gun and see how it does in a full review. But for now, we're hoping that this unboxing brought some light to you on what the Henry Homesteader is, where it fits into the market, why you might want it, and why it's really just an interesting new platform for Henry repeating arms. I'm Kristen for guns.com. Thanks so much for joining me today and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you stay up to date on content like this and you catch up with our full review coming on the Henry Homesteader.